One of the first skills we need to master as we start to study the hydrogen NMR of compounds is figuring out how many signals we would expect to see from a particular compound. And this requires us to be able to figure out how many different types of hydrogen a particular compound has. For instance, if we look at the compound drawn here, hexane, we would see that it has six carbons. So if we didn't think about it too carefully, we might expect six different types of hydrogen and six signals in the NMR. But if we look a little bit more closely, we notice that the hydrogens on this carbon and this carbon are identical to one another. And likewise, here and here, they are identical to one another. And finally, here and here, they are identical to one another. So we would actually have three types of hydrogens in this molecule. Now they might not, it might not show three peaks in the NMR because some of these hydrogens might have peaks that are very close to one another, they might overlap, but it does have three types of hydrogen. If we look at another example of this compound, and again, try to figure out how many types of hydrogen this compound has. We would first notice, for instance, that this methyl group and this methyl group are identical to one another. Then we have the methane hydrogen, then this methylene, another non-equivalent methylene, and then finally, on the other side of the molecule, we've got three methyl groups that are identical to one another. So this molecule would have five types of hydrogen. You want to be careful, this is a quaternary center right there, and therefore it doesn't have any hydrogens at all because it is a quaternary center. So this has five types of H. And I'm actually going to um, erase this right here because I don't want you confusing the symbol for a quaternary center with my label for my fourth type of hydrogen. The quaternary center has no hydrogens on it. If we look at another example, this aromatic compound, and try to do the same thing, figure out how many types of hydrogen there are, We'll start with one here and number two here. Now the hydrogens on this carbon and this carbon are identical to one another, just as are the hydrogens on this carbon and this carbon. Finally, down the bottom, we have our, have our fifth type of hydrogen. So again, we're going to have five types of hydrogen. Now, it turns out that in the NMR spectrum for this compound, all of the hydrogens on our aromatic ring are very similar to one another. So even though they are distinct, and in theory, if we had a good enough NMR, we could distinguish them, on most NMRs, the peaks show up so close together that they look like one big peak.